see, even the money we have now, if we used it efficiently, we wouldn't need to borrow. Former Vice President Dr. Speciosa Wandera Kaziwe says the mission to end corruption in the country has called for honest and a collective effort to stop corruption. You find that uh, people with the money seem to be the ones who are above the law. So they go around, they cause people to actually be treated as criminals. The senior presidential advisor on population and health issues says the fight against corruption is a daunting challenge that can only be overcome with honesty and a patriotic spirit. When you see things happening like this, is where you go back to the Constitution. How do you handle leaders who are corrupt and will not stand down? If you are accused and there is a charge put upon you for, for that act, recuse yourself from the position which is related to that act. This was during an exclusive interview with Uganda Broadcasting Corporation news crew in Kampala, where the former VP blamed weak law enforcement, impunity and disrespect of the constitution as some of the habits fueling corruption in the country. Is where you catch the thief and you find them in the hall and you leave them free to hang around. And somebody has even yeah, taken back. That is enough evidence to show that you committed the act. Do you have the moral authority to remain minister? Some of them are saying they actually took them to their constituencies for public good. That is diversion. Because that money was not voted for a, a church in your constituency. The former vice president proposes for the establishment of a Senate and independent punitive body to identify and respond to any sign of corruption in accordance to the laws of the land. Because it's like government is, there is an impasse in the government now. We envisage that situation. In the CA, you go to the Hansard, so this body will go to the Hansard and pull out all those views the Constituent Assembly answered. Really, we must have that dialogue as Uganda non-partisan. In the parties, there is corruption. In the what, there is corruption. So you have a corrupt mind, corrupt body, corrupt thoughts. So when somebody comes to you and you know you are corrupt in one way, making a decision which is good for Ugandans, you even fear because you are at gunpoint, that person will expose you. Kaziwe's argument is based on the fact that President Yoweri Museveni, in his wisdom, is always committed to institute a result-oriented cabinet within which individuals later let him down. That man we call our president is a good man, but we let him down. We the people who under the constitution is ultimately accountable, but the constitution gives him the powers to delegate to officials things to do. Do they do them? When they don't do them, what happens? Kaziwe says Uganda is a God-fearing country which bases its leadership on the biblical teaching that seeks to get a corrupt-free nation. Give us this day our daily bread. So why should I steal to secure tomorrow? How will I know I'll be there tomorrow? Give us this day our daily bread. So I do my best today and God will secure my tomorrow. The news crew had solved for her views on a wide range of issues prevailing in the country. The problem is with us, the Ugandans. A lot of knowledge, we don't give it to the people. A lot of knowledge about the law, we don't educate the people. Otherwise, the Constitution itself is a very beautiful document. Thank you. Daniel Mugoya, Stephen Kalisia, UBC News.